Hey guys. Hey there, what's up? Hold on for a minute. There we go. Are you guys ready? Yeah, it's got a cool anime cutscene for the opening. It's got a cool anime video for the opening. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's switch over to the map. Now bring out Jonathan. Oh yeah, I got the final guard sword. So I got a really strong sword. Alright, let's head for the Dark Academy. Right, we might as well jump into it, huh? Alright, can you hear the music? I'll turn the volume up a little. Dark Academy. This is where we're gonna fight Frankenstein. Uh-oh, Mandragoras. Don't get caught in their screen. Obviously their screen will hurt you quite a lot. Uh-oh, Toads! We're being trolled by Toads! Yeah, Mandragoras are just... They're just there. Uh-oh, now they're at Yoon! Yeah, she gets red. She gets more red the more blood she drains. Oh, uh, the Wak Wak tree. I remember this. It's a tree. It's a mythical tree that grows human heads, guys. Isn't that neat and interesting? Well, I consider it neat and interesting. Oh, we got a fedora. Tips fedora. Yep, and we got another fedora, Tips Fedora. Uh oh, dragonflies. Yes, they're dragon and flies. Isn't that a clever pun, guys? Ow, black crow. I don't like these crows. They're obnoxious. Oh, they're just slightly obnoxious, really. Alright, let's go into some of these rooms. Ooh, Almorph, we need that. That was a very important spell for getting around this place. And we got Minotaurs. Alright, a gold plate. What does that do? Well, oh, it's better defense. Might as well grab it. I wonder what's the other way. I know there's some cool things to get besides the Almorph. Yeah, that's just... Watch out for those guys. The fire hurts quite a bit from them. Not to worry though, I'm... I'm very good at this game. Well, I try to be anyway. Not quite as good as I think I am, though. I'm okay at this game, guys. Best not to be too overconfident. After all, what we learned from Darkest Dungeon is that, uh, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And I mean that super seriously. Crows are just slightly obnoxious, but that's okay. Alright, let's keep going deeper into this academy. Alright, this guy has a spell he can drop. Also, uh, he can curse you when he attacks you. Ooh, we got the spell right away. Wow, that was the first try, guys. I got the spell first try. And this is the part where we need the owl morph. Obviously, it turns you into an owl. And you can fly about the map. Watch out for the imps, they're pretty obnoxious. Ooh, a trident, cool. And there's the old axe armor, you need to beat like a thousand of those to get... 
Yeah, you need to beat like a thousand of those to get act old axe armor mode. Which is are just easy to beat. Oh no, not one of these guys again. Now the ruler sword is significantly easier thanks to my final sword. I'm not worried about witches, nah. I'm a little worried about these imps grabbing me. They're a lot more obnoxious than the clock tower since when they grab you, they can cause you to run into spikes. Oh, that ancient axe armor got me. I know that guy with the spike ball has a weapon they can drop. I won't get that right now, though. He has a weapon for Jonathan. Also, I'm pretty sure the ancient axe armors have the ancient armor as one of their drops. Which is pretty important since it, co since it causes any damage taken. A See, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, isn't that totally obnoxious? Luckily, I know how to counter that. You just use Tempest to get rid of it. Watch out for the stone breath that these guys... Oh, we got a noodle bun. A noodle bun's a thing, probably. I don't know. A lot of these... This game has a lot of food in it that I've never heard of. You know, because I'm a scrubby American that lives in a small town in USA. Sorry, I don't know what a lot of these things actually are. Hope that doesn't discourage you. Oh no, a ghost! Oh no, so that was super spooky, guys. Might as well get that. Got the flame whip. That'll lower the wolf down, down there. Alright, we have to go through Witch Central again. Ancient Axe Armors, but they're no problem. I'm more worried about the M scrapping me than that. Alright, got him. I know the Ancient Armor is pretty powerful, but it's kind of hard to get. I suppose I could grind for it later. I'll grind for it off camera. I realize that's pretty lame. Alright, got that ruler sword out of the way. Lesser demons, I remember you from I remember you from Symphony of the Night. Yeah, they were a pretty tough mini boss in that game. They were a pretty tough boss in that game. Fortunately they're just regular enemies in this. I seem to think there's a secret up here somewhere. Oh no, final guard. Alright, break out my heaven sword. This guy takes one damage from any attack that you throw at him. And this way is a good way to get damage on him. He only has 50 hit points. Problem is, he takes like one damage from any attack you throw at him. He resists everything. It's worth quite a lot of XP though. Now just switch out for it. Heaven Sword is just an easy way to get damage on board on him. Oh no, toads, I'm so scared. Well, they are toads spawned from a demonic baptism, so I should probably be more careful and not mock them too much. Now let's grab some money. Minotaurs. I don't like those crows. And we got practitioners of the dark arts, of course, or student witches and regular witches. And over here we see a, we can see a ghost. Oh yeah, that reminds me, we forgot to we forgot to activate some of Wind's quest, didn't we? 
Yeah, we got we, regular witches and student witches. They turn into cats when they die. Glad the cats don't actually damage you. They're harmless. They're harmless in this game. Rasu man! I believe he has 666 hit points. Might as well take out these normal witches. Very easy since they're vulnerable to slash damage. Ooh, a traveler's hat, yes. Thank you for the free hat. Oh no, a bunch of imps? I don't like any of them. I wonder what's the other way. There's a save point right here. I might as well use it. Saving for right now. Kind of looking for a warp point. I forgot to activate Wind's quest for this place. Oh, another trident. Cool. Luckily this room is a pretty good place to get tridents from. Oh, two minotaurs in that room. But what's down below? Egrets? Karasu, man! And we got the Mercury Boots. Cool. I don't even know what Mercury Boots do. Watch out for the Valhalla Knight. That's a creepy anatomical model. I mean, it's not really that much of a- it's not really anything threatening. I just find it a little creepy. Oh, there's a warp point. I am gonna have to pad this out. Luckily, those guys are pretty good for weapon XP. They have a high amount of it. Alright, I'm going to leave here temporarily. But I will come back to it. I'll come back to where I left off, okay? I'm gonna go activate some of Wind's quests. And we will do the Wimp's memory eventually, but there's some stuff from those paintings that will make it a lot easier. Like the whip that does darkness damage and the armor that resists holy. Aren't you guys looking forward to the next circus level? The circus level is my favorite level in the entire game. It's so good and totally not hell on earth and super obnoxious or anything. Wait, when does dialogue? Don't worry, I'll be Bronner, don't worry. New York steak. Come back when I have no money. Oh, the no money thing should be pretty simple. I'll make you a deal. That is if I buy a bunch of things. If I buy a bunch of things that'll take away my money. Now I only have three. I still have money. Which means I will have to get some... Which means I will have to find some way to get rid of the money. Which means I'll have to find some way to get rid of the money. Ooh, summon skeleton again, but we already got that. Fifty is not too bad, but I need something more. And I'm just raising through all these enemies because they're way, way weaker than I am. Easy to win. Or if you're gonna come flying through here. They're not too bad though, they're just one hit kills. Watch out for the buster armor. 
I, I mean the crossbow armor. The buster armor is the upgraded version of him that does even more damage. I need ones. And tens. I really need her ones. And maybe a ten. I need to get a certain amount of cash. I don't need that one. Almost got enough ones. Come on, another one. A ten. Another 10, I need a 50. I need a 50. I need a 50. That's not a 50. That's also not a 50. That's a 1. Here, took down those skeletons pretty easily. I have 600. I should be able to buy three things for 200. And then I'll be able to do the Abandoned Greed quest. Got the quest, then. You're back. Well done. And so the clock, I'm going to have to do that later. I guess I won't be able to do the ghost quest yet. To be able to do the hands of the clock, I'm gonna need to change the DS the DS time. The time on my 3DS. Hopefully I can remember how to do that. Hopefully I remember how to do that. I'll do it as soon as I'm beating Frankenstein up. Alright, I'm supposed to go down here. What am I doing? Let's go through the Dark Academy again. Here, I thought the ghost quest would be open now. I guess not. Oh well, at least I got the miser ring. Alright, through the, through the rest of the Dark Academy. It's just an academy for witches and other practitioners of the black arts to practice their magic and, you know, do some mad science on, while they're at it. And also summon spooky ghosts. I mean, look at that. It's just haunted. It's just a little haunted. And I'm stone! Go stone! Not like being stone. That's bad. Kingstone is the worst ailment in the game, guys. Okay, took those guys down. They're no problem. Alright, we're close to Frankenstein, I think. Alright, another spell. The Ghoul King will show up if you beat a bunch of ghouls, but that's not in this area. It's in a different area. Summon Crow, I forgot that was even a thing. But I'm glad I got it because I need it for a side quest anyway. And I got some money in a noodle bun. Wow, they sure want me to have noodle buns in this game. Not that I'm complaining. Noodle buns sound delicious. 
I don't even know what a noodle bun is, and I want one. And this game is making me hungry. Alright, time to beat up Frankenstein! Alright, this battle's gonna be pretty tough. We should probably be careful. Here he comes! The creature! Frankenstein's monster! He's got a ton of hit points too! Alright, that Dark Rift is coming in handy! I'll just jump over him when he does that. Watch out for the rockets he spews and watch out for the lightning. Watch out for the machine gun fire. Rockets are pretty dangerous. They do a high, da high amount of damage. Got him. Get wrecked, Creed. Get wrecked, Frankenstein's monster. I can't believe we beat him so easily. Oh boy. I'm glad I did that, at least. Mm, there's some paintings at the end. Alright, now let's go do that one quest. Wait, I forgot about something. Hold on while I go back for a bit. I'm pretty sure there's a breakable secret. I'm pretty sure there's a breakable secret somewhere. Hope you don't mind me going through it. Now there's just some ghost hands. Got that Minotaur out of my way. Minotaurs are pretty dangerous. Not too dangerous though. Got that demon head out of my way. That's nothing to worry about. Now as long as we stay in a certain area, this guy shouldn't be able to get me. And we got another Hex! Wow, it really wants me to have this Hex Bell. Alright, the secret's right here. That's a New York steak for with the quest. I knew that was right there, but I forgot about it until now. I forgot about it until after I left the area and I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to get the steak. Might as well do that one, huh? This final sword is pretty nice. It's pretty powerful. It's the strongest sword in the game, although the Holy Claymore is probably a little bit stronger. While the final sword does have the most attack, it's... The Holy Claymore is very useful because a lot of enemies are very weak to light element, you see. So it's actually a lot better to use against a lot of the enemies unless they resist light or magic. Fear of Legend, I've already maxed out Javelin. Max out Intelligence, we need 100 Intelligence or more. 
Luckily, we should have Charlotte do that. And if we do a full power intelligence boost... You're back. Almost enough. There we go, got it. Come up at mind of 100 or more. That has high minds. There should be another Charlotte quest. The lonely stage, we have to find a ghost and do... We have to find that ghost with the piano in his in the in the room. I like having high intelligence on Charlotte. All right, let's go do that quest, huh? All right, the first quest we're going to do is do the classroom thing, and that is in the Dark Academy, of course. It's a very easy quest to do. You gotta go to where the piano was, yeah? Now, where where was the piano, by the way? I don't remember. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get it. I'll remember, though. And the second Circus World is open. It's in one of the little tiny rooms. I think I know where it is. I'll just warp right over there. Now head right over there. Hey, dragonfly, get out of my way. I'll stick those guys down. They are a good source of... Those guys are a good source of gold, though. As are those imps. Of course, it really helps to have a high luck stat. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Let's just stay put perfectly still. All I gotta do is stay put for a few seconds and then it will show up. That's all you gotta do. It's a little tricky to know how to do that though. I did not know how to do that when I first played the game. Yeah, but that's all you gotta do, just stay still. Back those imps out of the way. Got those guys down. Took him down. Now let's warp out of here. Luckily those guys are pretty easy to take down. Alright, let's get out of here. I will come back to do some grinding for the... on the below. I will come back to do grinding on the Minotaurs later. Because they're a good source of weapon XP, plus they have a rare drop that's worth quite a bit of money. Which will help us get some of the best skills in the game. That I can buy at the shop as well as the Holy Claymore. And I want that Holy Claymore. Right now. Let's go back. Let's go back and do the thing that we came here to do. You're back. Excellent. And we got the record player and we got already oh, got five kinds of cakes. Go raise your con by a hundred or more.
Actually, that's Jonathan's thing, is to get high cotton. Be easy enough if we use con boost. You're back. Not quite, huh? Don't have a hundred con or more. If I got another level in it might be pretty easy. If I got the hiking boots it might push it up a little bit more. Unfortunately, I can't do it right now. I'm lacking a little bit in levels. I'll be able to do it later, though. Right now, let's save. And let's go to the home menu. Oh, whoops. You know what? Maybe I'll do it off camera. Oops, I should probably do it off camera, huh? I should probably do it while I'm off camera. You're back. Alright, these other side quests are gonna be pretty easy. We just need the cards. Of course, the clock one is the immediate one we wanna get. Find the rare dodo and defeat it. Alright, do you have anything that's going to raise my con even more? King boots would put me a little bit on con more con. I won at least. Thank you. Wait, isn't there a technique that lets you get more con? There we go, that's how you do it. Yeah, there we go, that's how you do that. Just use Stonewall. And then swap out. Well, I did all I wanted to do today. I'll just have to manipulate the clock. 
Or actually do it when it's 12 o'clock. Hmm. It might be a little tricky to do it. Let's go there when it's 12 o'clock and then do it later, maybe. That should do it, right? Right. Okay, then I'll see you later, guys. Alright, let's see who's on so I can raid them. Should be some people on who are pretty good. Trade finds. There we go. I'll see you guys later, okay? Remember to play games and have fun, okay? Bye bye now. Bad grade. And goodbye.